Glad to see the boys stopped trying to butt in. Where is he, anyway? I don't know. Watching the news. I'd like to know what he's really up to. As if a normal boy cares what's on the news. Dudley hasn't got a clue what's going on. Doubt he knows who the Prime Minister is. Anyway, it's not as if there'd be anything about his lot on our news. Vernon! Shush! The window's open. Oh, yes. Sorry, dear. What the devil do you mean by it, boy? What do I mean by what? Making a racket like a starting pistol right outside our... I didn't make that noise. Why were you lurking under our window? Yes, yes, good point, Petunia. What were you doing under our window, boy? Listening to the news. Listening to the news? Again? Well, it changes every day, you see. Don't you be clever with me, boy. I want to know what you're really up to. And don't give me any more of this listening to the news, Tosh. You know perfectly well that your lot... Careful, Vernon. Let your lot don't get on our news. That's all you know. You're a nasty little liar. What are all those howls doing if they're not bringing you news? Aha! Get out of that one, boy. As if we didn't know you get all your news from those pestilential birds. The owls aren't bringing me news. I don't believe it. No more do I. We know you're up to something funny. We're not stupid, you know. Well, that's news to me. So, who have you been beating up tonight? Another ten-year-old? I know you did Mark Evans two nights ago. He was asking for it. Oh, yeah? He cheeked me. Yeah? Did he say, you look like a pig that's being taught to walk on its hind legs? Because that's not cheek, Dud. That's true. Think you're a big man carrying that thing, don't you? What thing? That, that thing you're hiding. Not as stupid as you look, are you, Dud? But I suppose if you were, you wouldn't be able to walk and talk at the same time. You're not allowed. I know you're not. You'd get expelled from that freak school you go to. How do you know they haven't changed the rules, Big D? They haven't. You haven't got the guts to take me on without that thing, have you? Whereas you just need four mates behind you before you can beat up a ten-year-old. You know that boxing title you keep banging on about? How old was your opponent? Seven? Eight? He was sixteen, for your information. And he was out cold for twenty minutes after I'd finished with him. And he was twice as heavy as you. You just wait till I tell Dad you had that thing out. Running to Daddy now, are you? Is his ickle boxing champ frightened of nasty Harry's wand? Not this brave at night, are you? I mean, when you're in bed. What do you mean, I'm not brave in bed? What, am I supposed to be frightened of pillows or something? I heard you last night, talking in your sleep, moaning. What do you mean? Don't kill Cedric! Don't kill Cedric! Who's Cedric? Your boyfriend? I... You're lying! Dad! Help me, Dad! He's gonna kill me, Dad! Boo-hoo! Shut up. Shut up, Dudley. I'm warning you. Come and help me, Dad. Mom, come and help me. He's killed Cedric, Dad. Help me. He's going to... Don't you point that thing at me. Expecto Patronum! Don't 
notice away, idiot boy. What if there are more of them around? Oh, I'm going to kill Mundungus Fletcher. <laughs>